starting in child's pose today. And just allow some time to settle in here in your child's. Time to ground in. Take a few well intended breaths through the nose. Allow the eyes to close. On your next inhale in, maybe crawl your hands over towards the right side. See if you can ground through left hip as you do that. And then staying low, crawling through center, make your way off to the other side. Noticing right hip. And as you're ready, making your way back to center, one full cycle of breath. And your next inhale brings you to all four tabletop position. And from here, you can go however you choose to warm up your spine. So you can go through a few rounds of cow and cat if you like. Or maybe you walk the handprint, the hands, one handprint forward, moving into a dancing lion. So shifting your hips in a circular motion, sending shoulders over wrists and then heels over your seat over your heels. Taking time to move in both directions if you choose that. And allow your eyes to close wherever you are. Continue to move with your breath. And don't worry about what it looks like or what you think you should be doing. Just move in any way that feels good and creates space for you. Continue to breathe. And then as you're ready, making your way back, no rush, back to a tabletop position from here. And on your inhale, reaching right hand towards the sky, looking up past your fingertips. And on your exhale, threading right hand through the hole of your left arm coming down to right shoulder and temple. Option to stay here and you thread the needle or option to extend left arm towards the top of your mat. Option to stay here or option to play with your balance and see if you're able to extend the left leg long. Next inhale, unwind the same way that you came in. And then we'll take it to the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches towards the sky. And then exhale, thread the needle. Same options here. Remain in stillness or play with a variation if you chose on the other side. Continue to breathe wherever you are. And slowly making your way out of that, back to tabletop position. One cycle of cow and cat from here, just to reset. And then tuck the toes, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Full breath in. 
and full breath out. One more breath in and breath out. Lift the heels, bend through the knees, step or hop towards your hands. Inhale for a halfway lift and exhale, fold, maybe stepping the feet out a little bit wider, finding a rag doll here. So generous bend and the knees may be welcomed here in your first fold. To find a release in the lower back, you can allow your knuckles to graze the earth or maybe grab elbow to elbow. Maybe interlace your hands behind your head. Just continue to breathe. You can remain in stillness or gently sway side to side. From here, we'll plant our hands towards the earth, step both feet back, coming into a high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward, shoulders over wrists, high plank. And one more time, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale into your high plank. And from here, we'll exhale, step our right foot out towards the right edge of your mat. Left foot steps out. Right foot steps in, left foot steps in. Step the right foot out, step the left foot out. Right foot in, left foot in. So continue in this pattern, out and in, in. Continuing to breathe, engage your core. Push the earth away with your palms. And then option to stay at this pace or the next time both of your feet are in towards the center, you can move into a plank jack. So jumping feet out and in. Trying to keep your arms straight and strong. Tailbone tucked under and everything engaged. Continue to breathe. Couple more rounds. And then option to move into some tricep push-ups as well to add on. So if you're doing your jacks, each time the feet come in towards each other, tricep push-up, lower down with your elbows in towards the rib cage. So just a variation, or you can take it back to the slower version. You got it. Wherever you are. And then at the end of your last round, go ahead and lower everything down towards your belly. Allow forehead to come towards the earth. Clasp the hands behind the back. On your inhale, Reach your hands towards your heels and peel your chest and forehead up off the mat. Tops of feet can be against the earth or maybe you lift them as well. Draw your shoulders back down away from your ears and then exhale, release forehead to mat. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes, Push up into high plank, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in here, and breathe out. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it towards the top of your mat, coming into a crescent lunge. Reach your arms high. Exhale. Inhale, bring your left leg forward, knee towards the chest, one leg in mountain. Exhale, step it back, hands come down into a high plank. I'm sorry, downward facing dog. Right leg towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, send it high. Option to keep the right leg lifted and flow through your vinyasa here. Always the option to skip vinyasa and go straight to down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward. Rise for your crescent lunge. Find your balance. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, pushing off of right toes, coming into high mountain, one-legged mountain, right knee in towards the chest. Breathe here. Exhale, hands come down, both feet step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it long. And then option to flow through your vinyasa with left leg lifted, if you like. Meeting and downward facing dog. Next in breath, three-legged dog. Right leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward, crescent lunge. Adding on from here, breathe in. Breathe out. Next breath in, one-legged mountain, left knee comes to the chest. Exhale, warrior three. So option to have hands towards the chest or extending out long. Hands come down to frame the right foot. Stepping back, send the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it high. And then option again to flow through your vinyasa with one leg lifted. Meeting and downward facing dog. As you make it there, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward, find your crescent lunge. Inhale as you rise. Exhale. Next, inhale, pushing off of right toes, lift right knee to chest. Breathe in. Extend the arms long and breathe out, finding your warrior three. So option for hands to heart center or extending out long. Find your balance. Close the hips. Right foot lands behind, plant the hands. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, option to flow through your vinyasa, right leg lifted. Again, always the option to skip the vinyasa and maybe go straight to child's pose or down dog. Two cycles of breath in your downward facing dog. Full breaths in. Full breath out. One more cycle. Next breath in, right leg goes long, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward, find your crescent lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, sending left knee towards the chest, one-legged mountain. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, standing splits, hands come down to frame the right foot, send the left leg high. See if you can send it a little bit higher, bring the crown of the head towards the ceiling. See if you can walk your hands back closer to your feet, maybe. One hand can come behind the right ankle. 
playing with balance. Maybe both hands can clasp behind the ankle, even if it's just for a second. Try it, see what happens. Both hands coming back towards the mat. Step the left foot back and send the right leg high, three-legged dog. Breathe in. Breathe out knee to nose. Breathe in, send it high. Exhale across the body, tap left elbow. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, option to shift forward and fl flow through your vinyasa, again with right leg lifted. Exhale, takes you to downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Exhale, step it between the hands, rise for crescent lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out, right knee to chest, one-legged mountain. Breathe out, warrior three. Breathe in, standing splits. Right leg goes high. Crown of head towards the earth. And then again, play with your balance here. So maybe that just means walking your hands back to be in line with the left foot. See if you can lift the right leg a little bit higher. And if you played on the other side, see if you can grab the ankle with one or both hands. There's your practice for today with balance. Hands come down towards the earth, step the right foot back, Send the left leg high, three-legged dog. Breathe in. Breathe out, knee to nose, curl it in. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, tap the right elbow. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, step it down, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, step it between your hands and then crawl your hands towards your left. Your heels will be in, your toes are pointing out, bend through the knees, coming up into your goddess squat. Hands can be at heart center, maybe out in front of you like you're holding a tray or maybe up towards the sky. Wherever you are, sit, sit down low and tuck your tailbone under. Play with lifting the right heel. Lower and then lift the left. And switch. And switch. So your heels are the only thing moving. Your seat stays low. Continue to switch. And then maybe playing with, play with lifting both heels. Feel the burn, maybe start shaking, keep breathing. And then as you exhale, lower the heels, forward fold, let it go. Maybe shake the head from yes and no. Let's take our left hand right underneath our face and then inhale, slide the right arm up towards the sky. Your gaze follows. A little bit of a twist here. Exhale, right hand replaces the left. Inhale, left arm goes high. Breathe in. Breathe out, both hands comes towards the mat. Your palms are beneath your shoulders and crown of head towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, coming into a flat back. 
and then exhale, fold. We'll turn and pivot to come towards the top of our mat again. Our hands are framing our right foot. Step the right foot back and lower all the way down to your belly. So we'll move into locust pose again here. Forehead comes towards the earth, tops of feet towards the earth. A few options. As you inhale, peel the chest, peel the forehead up off the earth. Maybe the hands float behind you. Maybe the feet and thighs lift as well. Breathe in here. Breathe out and lower. Inhale here, lifting back up into your locust. Do the same thing you did last time, or maybe extend the arms long overhead, or maybe come into cactus arms. Breathe out as you lower. Next breath in. This time we'll go into bow pose, or you can do your locust again if you like. So we'll reach back and grab tops of feet, maybe ankles, maybe shins. And at the same time that you push your ankles or your feet into your hands, you're lifting yourself up. So the harder you push into your hands, the higher you'll lift. Roll your shoulders open. See if you can draw your knees in towards each other. Breathe here one more round. And breathe out. Release the ankles, release the forehead towards the earth. From here, you can roll onto your backs. And draw knees into chest. Give it a squeeze. Gentle rock from side to side. And then keep the right knee in, extend the left leg long. Squeeze right knee in towards the chest, flex the right foot. And then maybe draw the knee towards the right armpit and continue to pull towards your body. Breathe in here. And then as you exhale, allow your hand to guide the right leg across the body, coming into a twist. And gaze can be up or over opposite shoulder. And just pay attention to right shoulder. See if you can keep it in contact with the earth. So that might mean coming out of the twist a little bit. On your next inhale, both knees come into the chest and squeeze. And then as you exhale, extend right leg long. Flex through left foot. Squeeze the knee into the chest, breathe in. Breathe out, point the knee towards left armpit and continue to pull. Breathe in. And then on your exhale again, guide the left knee off towards the right. And then gaze can be up or towards the opposite shoulder. It doesn't really matter if your knee touches the floor or not. Try to focus more on the left shoulder, staying in contact with the earth. Inhale, coming back to center. One last squeeze of both knees in towards the chest. And then any option, any final pose that you'd like to take today. Go ahead and make your way there.
Maybe that's Shavasana. You have time. And if you haven't already, gently begin to make your way towards your final resting pose. Making any movements, any repositioning to make yourself a little bit more comfortable. Allow the eyelids to lower. And just notice how you feel. The breath. Just observe it. No longer manipulating. Just notice it. Notice any sounds that you hear in the distance. See if you can identify them. And then bring your awareness to sounds that are near. And then moving more inward, notice any sounds that you hear in your own body. Maybe that's your breath. Maybe it's a heartbeat. And then draw your attention, starting from your toes. to any areas of tension. Travel up your body through the legs, through the hips, your torso, neck. All the different parts of your head, your mouth, your jaw, your eyes. Ending with the crown of your head, releasing any tension. And starting with a deep breath in through your nose, begin to wiggle the fingers and toes, maybe massage the back of your head, turning your head from left to right. If you like, take a big long stretch. 
And then roll to your favorite side, making your way up to a seated position. Draw the hands in front of the heart. Bow the forehead towards your fingertips. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.